Hello everyone, it's Gene again. I'm back with I think the third video of the day. Very rare for for me, but um, first of all, hope you're all having a good day and a good evening. I gotta get back to doing greetings. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't know. I just need to rant a little bit, and it's not about anything that I that I've covered in the last like four videos or so or so. So don't worry about that. It's not about Amanda. It's not about a certain somebody in the comic book industry. It's not about that. But it is about comics. It's in particular about Marvel and how they keep, in my personal opinion, how they keep misrepresenting physically powerful and strong women. Now, I, I, I think I've commented on this uh, previously in other issues and uh, in other videos, for example. I went on like a 30 minute rant about Jason Aaron and how he was disrespecting She-Hulk. But I just wanted to just focus more on, on, on just this, in my opinion, gross representation that Marvel presents of what a powerful, physically powerful woman is, right? You'll see it with She-Hulk, you'll see it with Captain Marvel, and in the Star uh, comic, which I have read, and I'm almost ready to do the recording of the review itself. So I'm almost there. I hope to have it up in a few days. So in, in that issue, in the star issue, they, brief, they briefly um, mentioned the supervillainess Titania, who interestingly enough is a uh, supervillain usually found in She-Hulk books. But here's the thing. And I know this is nothing new to anybody who's been reading comics for a while, but I don't know. I just, I, I just need to get it off my chest a bit. So, what Marvel tends to do with these women, these women who have like a defining trait, I guess you could say, or a gimmick, if you want to use pro wrestling terms, of being physically uh, powerful, right? Just very physically strong. Like She-Hulk, you know, is when she turns into She-Hulk, she has supernatural strength and all that sort of stuff. Carol, of course, with her powers not only has great cosmic ability, right, cosmic power with the photons and all that, her, her most powerful form being binary, referencing the binary star, not the other binary. But, um, and then of course Titania, who's similar to, to She-Hulk, is just, you know, a physical powerhouse. But what I've noticed with these types of women is that Marvel, Marvel, first of all, turns them into this caricature of a man, right? They seem to have forgotten or completely erased the fact that, that, that a woman can be physically powerful in her own right without wanting to or wanting or needing to emulate a man or copy a man. Whether it's in giving a character a very masculine, uh, androgynous appearance, as they did with all three of them, but especially with... Um, Captain Marvel, whether just literally making him look like a muscle-bound man in, in, in a long-haired wig, which is what they did with uh, with uh, She-Hulk most grotesquely, and with um, Titania, right? So there's that. They they take these very strong women for some reason, right? And and these are the same writers and the same artists who say that they're pro women and they want to show women at at their best, but they take these women. And they turn them into a very gross, grotesque, bastard, bastard, bastardization. There's the term. There's the word. Bastardization of a man. And not only a gross imitation of a man, but a gross imitation of, a, of an imitation of a man, right? They always turn them into these brutish, hot-headed caricatures of men. Most men would tell you that, yeah, a guy who, who behaves like that, who's overly aggressive, brutish, right, hot-headed, is not a man to be admired, right? And you aren't going to find too many guys who find those type of traits when they're, uh, again, over-the-top, hyper-exaggerated to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, acceptable, Right? Not too many, at least, least not too many men I know personally think that being angry all the time and violent is an appropriate expression of masculinity. So, there's that. But something else that I've noticed, and it really hit me, kind of like really hit me hard because I was just watching an MJ Tanner video where, the, where they're doing a, a review of um, Captain Marvel issue 13. I can't believe that, that this 
trash series has now run on for about a year. Dear God, why? But anyway, there's a point where in their re, re, in their review, there's the words, there's my tongue. Speaking of which, um, MJ Tanner, they are a great re, review channel, especially, especially since they do reviews more often than I do, and they're much shorter about it. So um, I think if you like, again, constant, regular comic content, and you, you don't want like a 30, 45 minute long view like I do, definitely um, check them out, watch a few videos if you like them, give them a like, and subscribe. You know, they, they, they deserve the, the uh, attention. They do good work. But anyway, as I was saying, so there's this point in the review where they show that Captain Marvel is lamenting the, uh, the uh, fact that, 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 you know, it's easier to, like, punch your problems, right? To just, to just punch the enemy instead of trying to figure out how to solve the problem. And I swear, that this just got under my skin because I'm like, they keep doing this. They keep doing this to Carol and to She-Hulk. Making them dunderheaded, right? Maybe not necessarily, literally, as like the the uh, Hulk, right? Or, you know, Hulk smash, Hulk bash. Maybe not in that sense, but they keep they keep acting as if a powerful woman, right? That that she's so single-minded that the only thing she can think to do to solve a problem is hit wall, hit wall, hit wall. It's like, no. Do you know anything about intelligent people? Do you know anything even about, like, exercise or the martial arts? You need an incredible amount of discipline, of self-restraint. That's one of the first things they teach you in martial arts. One of the most important lessons that you learn in the martial arts is that you are not supposed to fight without a reason. You are not supposed to fight for the sake of fighting. You don't solve your problems with violence. The best fight you can get into is no fight at all. So there's that. It just frustrates me. And then, but, but, but just this, this idea, I'm like, they do realize that Jennifer Walters, right, the woman who becomes She-Hulk, right, they realize that she's a, she's a, uh, a criminal defense attorney, right? You don't become an attorney by being unintelligent. Or if you take Carol Danvers, right? Whatever you think of her as a character, right? Her, her history, for the most part, at least the major parts, have been that she was in the Air Force. Keep in mind, the Air Force is like all where, where like all the Brady people <laughs> in the military go, right? She was in the Air Force. She was a pilot. She was, uh, she... Retired. I think they maintain this. She retired at the rank of a major, right? And then she went into NASA and this stuff there. You don't end up at NASA. You don't end up in the Air Force by being dumb, right? Or uh, rather say unintelligent, right? You have to pass a lot of uh, very difficult tests, right? You need to be a damn near genius, really, to be in those fields. And again, same thing for an attorney. You need to be incredibly well well read and well learned. I know because I know several attorneys. I work with them. A few of them um, ha have become friends of mine in the years. I used to be a paralegal major. So I remember, read, 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 read. You must read case law. You must read this. You must, you must read that. You must read everything. So it just really frustrates me and it gets under my skin where they take these women who really, if the characterization were anything proper, should be women who are both incredibly powerful physically and incredibly powerful mentally, which is actually an ideal that many um, warrior cultures and many warrior, um, I guess you'd say codes, right, sort of uh, embrace, right, a, a, a warrior at least the ideal, right, should, should, should be a person who's fit, someone who is disciplined, has self-control, 
self-restraint uh, is capable in, in the martial trainings, but also is intelligent. You could look at things like, for example, um, famous warriors of, of like Asia and, and in particular in um, Japan and whatnot. They were well-learned people, right? The samurai were dumb. Most of them were not dumb <laughs> uh, folks, right? You had to be learned. You couldn't run around being unintelligent, yet we have modern-day Marvel, which is supposed to be the champion of, of uh, women taking these physically powerful women who really could be empowering to a female audience and to a female reader, like myself, right? And instead of seeing them as these you know, sharp, beautiful, powerful women they could be, what we end up with is basically gross caricatures of, like, a dumb brute. Me big. Me strong. Me hit wall. Bah. Bah. Enemy go now. This is just, this is just, just terribly insulting to me as a reader, and in particular as a female reader. Because there's just so much potential and it is wasted on just, ugh. I can't even find the word, just trash in my opinion. But anyway, I just wanted to just get that off of my chest. I know I've been putting up videos a lot lately, which probably means there's going to be a long drought coming up sooner or later. But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope you're all doing well. It is a bitterly cold night here in... New York City after several days of spring-like temperatures, so um, you yeah, gotta gotta deal with uh, that. As we say out here in the city, it brick outside. So I hope you, that you all are uh, doing well, and I will see you in the next video. Whether it's, you're having a good day or a good night, be fun, have safe. See you around. Bye.